Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the Rotoguro using soda ash, also known as soda wash. I'm going to be using soda, or rather cotton, as my medium with the soda ash. I've used a little bit too much in this video and have <laughs> some problems rolling it up on my surface, but you'll see how well it works. It works as well as most of the other accelerants in my videos. Um, soda ash, a lot of people know it as like detergent, where they use it as detergent for their clothes. And I know a lot of people make their own detergent from soda ash. Um, it's also just used as a general household cleaner. People use it on floors, everything, you know, use it in their dishes. I know that some people use it in their pools too. Um, right here I'm just simply rolling it up and I'm trying to knock off the excess on my surfaces here. It's interesting to note guys that if you uh, get soda ash wet it will actually heat up. It will go through an exothermic reaction and uh, I know that people have actually tried to make hand warmers using it and that can be used. It's just that I've had uh, varying results with that. Um, I've included uh, an actual demonstration of making a hand warmer at the end of this video so hang around guys uh, more on that in a few moments here I am just simply rolling it up like I said I had gotten way too much on my surface here and I had to stop momentarily to brush some away and while I'm certain I had an ember here I wanted to roll a little a few more seconds longer it makes it does really well and you'll see I have a good ember forming here Now I'll pan it up to the camera for you guys. And there it is. Okay guys, uh, back to what I was saying uh, earlier about the, uh, the hand warmer. I know that people have tried to make these before and I've tried to use it too, but a better substance to use is calcium chloride. I think it's also known as like ice melt. And a lot of people like to use it instead of say like rock salt. Uh, calcium chloride works really well with melting ice. Um, here in this uh, demonstration, basically uh, what I'm doing is, is I'm, uh, I filled up a bag, or not filled it up, but about maybe a quarter, eighth of the way up with uh, calcium chloride. And uh, I have a separate bag, actually two bags here, I've got some water in it. About the same amount about half a cup a piece. And if you'll notice, I've left a lot of air in this bag because I want it to have the ability to be able to pop it. Because I'm going to be placing this smaller bag on the inside of the larger bag. And what will happen is, is the water will mix with the uh, calcium chloride and an exothermic reaction occurs. And this will get really hot and it will stay hot for quite a while. I've had these actually stay pretty warm for 30 to 40 minutes. So it's a, it's a really good temporary uh, hand warmer. I mean, you could use it as like an emergency hand warmer, you know, if you had several of these made up. Here what I'm doing is I'm simply squashing the bag, the smaller one on the inside, which is going to release the water. And that water is going to mix with the calcium chloride, rather the calcium chloride is going to dissolve into it. It's basically just going to heat up you know, I'm not really sure how hot this will get. I've heard it can get between 140 to 160 degrees. This one here was very warm. Here in a moment, I'm actually going to try to get all the water out. I had problems getting the water out of the bag, so I'm squeezing the rest of it out. This is really warm. <laughs> Works really well for those cold mornings. Anyway, here it is about 10 minutes later and it is very warm. I still haven't gotten all the water out yet. I'm trying to squeeze it out. And here we are at about 15-20 minutes. It's very hot. <laughs> and then again at about 30 minutes. And it's still very warm. But anyway guys, I tell you what, I am going to go ahead and close for now, and you have a good evening, and I will catch you on the next video. Uh, have a good night.